Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner Guy. Today we're going to be talking about how to gain experience quickly um, and effectively in a couple different methods here. Um, some of them can be used together actually. Both of these can be used together at the same time. Uh, but I'm going to have Crack Lack and help me out just a little bit on a couple demonstration points. Um, but what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about two different ways. One is by building rafts. Uh, rafts are actually one of the highest XP things. If you're on a normal server it's 187.5 experience for it. Um, and basically uh, if you're doing the other way uh, is gathering metal. Uh, actually, metal is one of the fastest ways, I think, um, but we'll see here in a minute. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys both of these. Um, so let's go ahead and get on top of this mountain real quick. Um, we're going to go up to Blue Ob. Uh, we're on the island here on the PvP server. Um, we'll head up here and we'll go get some metal real quick and I'll show you guys uh, how fast that experience goes up. You guys can see the bar on the right. Um, and it's nice and cold here today. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've got full fur on but uh, and 50 fortitude, but sometimes it's just not enough in here. Um, so you just got to kind of eat some food and hope you don't die real quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and get up here real quick. Um, I'll see you guys here in a second after a quick fast forward. All right, guys, we're back. So let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, we're on the top of Blue Ob. We're just going to grab some metal real quick, and I'll show you guys how fast it is. Um, I also start the video at night, um, just so it'll be daytime when you guys came in here, because when it's night, um, it's kind of going to be my more current PvP base, so I don't want people to know exactly what's going on, so I want it to be a little bit darker. Um, so that was intentional. All right, guys, so what we're not here. Is I call these like the full metals or the, the big metal rocks. Um, on a normal server, they're going to give you right about 88 experience. Um, on my server, everything is 2.5 times, um, so so it's going to be a little bit higher. Um, so like you'll see it, and it takes about 10 seconds to mine. We're going to get some good metal. Um, obviously, you guys can see this is just a standard primitive axe. Uh, the gather rate is at 5, so it's going to be a little bit higher than you guys are nervous to seeing. Um, but you can see I get a good hunk of metal. Um, you can see that experience bar went up quite a bit. Um, that's just for that big metal rock. Um, what you guys can do then is you can just throw it in this little bird right here. Keep the stone if you want it. Um, but you actually do want to. Um, you also want to go ahead and grab flint. Our reason you want to grab these little rocks with flint um, is you guys are going to use this to create spark powder um, and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'll show you that when we get back down on the other thing. Um, those little rocks are going to give you about uh, roughly eight experience a piece. Um, so they're pretty quick to, to also do. Um, and then we've got these the third type of rock up here, um, which is these, like, I want to call them the weak metal rocks, or I don't know exactly what you want to call them, uh, but they're not the, the best rocks in the world. Um, these rocks are only going to give you about 31 experience on a normal server. Um, obviously, as I said, that's, I'm giving you the actual experience for public servers. Whatever your server's XP rate is, just go ahead and multiply it by that. Um, I will put these uh, across the screen. Um, here right now um, on our way back to our base. So we'll see you guys here in a second when we get back to the base um, and we'll talk about how to um, level up um, and how to use all this metal and this flint and everything we've been getting. Um, and we'll explain the raft thing and how you can use that in multiple ways. So we'll hear you, see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, we're back. As you guys can see, we're right at a little platform. I don't want to put you guys in our base. Um, I will take us into the base for a minute, um, but I will do a fast forward. I won't do it actually at the end, and I'll do it at the end of the clip um, just to show you guys how much spark powdered metal goes into forages. Um, but basically what you guys do is you take that RG, um, you unload the flint, you unload the stone, you unload the metal, you put the metal in forages, um, and then you put the flint in your mortar and pestles with your stone, as you guys can see right here. And what you end up doing is you go ahead and start creating all that spark powder in here. And you guys can see it just your XP kind of goes up kind of quickly. It's about 0.3 mine so it's about 0.1 on there but if you do 400 spark powder that's uh, about 40 experience that's constantly running then you can unload your metal while you're unloading your metal um, obviously you guys um, if you're trying to just straight power level you can just mine the metal throw it on the ground mine the metal throw it on the ground just have multiple picks with you um, and everything will be fine um, uh, crack Lacken's getting a little uh, thing, but hang on one sec, guys. I'll explain that why he's over there on that uh, Quetzal for a minute. Um, and then you guys can see you kind of get that spark powder going. Um, and then what you can do is what we're going to do is I'm also going to build a raft at the same time. You guys can see I've got all the materials for a raft sitting right here. Um, we'll throw all this metal in here and stuff. Um, crack Lacken, just hang out for a minute. We'll get to you in a minute, bud. Uh, don't move that Quetzal too much. It's shaking the screen. Um, so let's go ahead and make that raft super fast, guys. Um, and you'll see how much experience you guys get here. You can see that experience is still going up. Um, I'm going to get a bunch. It takes about 15 seconds to get the wood raft. And as I said, that's 187 experience for those of you on it. But And it's also very cheap. You guys can see it's only 250 wood, 125 fiber, and 75 hide. Um, really easy stuff to get once you get up there. So you guys can make rafts. Um, you don't get any of the materials back. However, 
when you go get wood, what you can do is you can fill up your fireplaces that you guys have and um, all that kind of stuff. And what you can do is you can then take it and make charcoal. And then you take the charcoal. You go ahead, grab some spark powder. We're just going to do this a little bit right here, guys, um, just so you guys can kind of see it. Um, and then if you have, I have normally five mortar and pestles when I'm doing this. Um, so what we can do now is you can craft that. So we're getting gunpowder experience. We're getting spark powder experience. So then we're going to get more gunpowder. Then what you do is once you take that gunpowder and that metal's done in those forges, what you guys can do is start making bullets out of it. So it's a multitasking thing. It's going all the time. And as long as you're making it, um, you can go wherever you want on the map. So if you want, you can make all this stuff and go get it. Um, now I'm going to show you guys something cool. Um, when you guys are here, um, what you can do is you can go ahead. Um, there's a big weight trick that you guys don't know about or a lot of people don't know about. Basically, as long as um, you guys can see my weight real quick. I just want to say it's 700. Normally, I can only hold 1,400 pounds. You can only hold about double of what your weight is. However, if you're picking boxes up off the ground, you can pick up your, way over your weight as long as you don't hit the item limit. So if you have a buddy that can help you out and just feed you um, – uh, boxes and stuff. So he's going to go ahead and start launching some boxes out of here. Just go ahead and start launching those boxes out of that Quetzal for me. Uh, there you guys can see him coming out the back here. I think we might have to lay in the snow to get these. Um, but what you guys can see is I'm just going to go ahead and grab all this. It's metal and all kinds of stuff. I just did a metal run and everything. Um, he's going to keep shooting these things out of here, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it gets them in me. There we go. Um, you guys can see I'm way overweight at this point. I've been picking up flint. He's going to get that stone in there. All kinds of stuff. Um, I don't see much more. He's just going to keep tossing it, keep tossing it, keep tossing it. Um, a lot of flint. <laughs> As I said, I was doing the same thing. I was leveling a little bit. I'm trying to find all the boxes. I don't see them all. Um, but we can see here, um, instantly I'm over my max. You guys can already see it's barely over my max, but I'm over the max here. Um, I only have 1,400 pounds on me right now, which technically you look at 14, but I got 1,441 on me. Um, I can't move anywhere, obviously, but then you could go ahead and just create a bunch of rafts. So as long as those rafts are in here, um, then you can do that. Now, here's the best idea I want on top of it. Whenever you start on a new server, your dossiers, even if you have them all, which I do, I have the rec skin, um, you can go ahead and get them again for the experience bonus. Um, you guys can see my experience is just shooting up still because all that spark powder and everything that's going. Um, but basically, you guys, um, you can take it and use the dossiers for the double experience. So if you go and grab a double experience and run up and just start mining some metal or making a bunch of rafts, if you can get a buddy that has a raft that's out there with storage on it, and you can just sit there and access a bunch of storage boxes and all those kind of tips and tricks, you use that dossier, you double your experience. Next thing you know, instead of you know 200 experience, you're getting 400 experience and stuff, and you're going to level way faster, guys. Uh, so basically, you guys can start focusing on that stuff. Um, this is kind of the, the tips and tricks here. These are only two of them. There's many other ways. You guys can make behemoth gates and all kinds of stuff. As long as you're mass producing stuff for the most part, it's fine. Um, that's why it's also nice to try to still check those smaller drops. Uh, they can actually give you uh, the the old like the the old um, resources, so you can throw the blueprints, the old resources like blueprints, like wood walls, stone walls, and stuff like that. You can throw those in the smithy, load the smithy up with all the resources, and start that up. And then you go get a dossier, and then you go up on a mountain, start mining metal, and you're getting the double experience from the behemoth gates or whatever you're making. Uh, even if you get a wooden raft one, you can put it inside something. Um, it's like a beaver or if a thorny dragon if you're on scorched earth, and you guys can use those to kind of cheat the system um, and get your experience going even faster so you can have it going in the smithy. And then you can go mine metal while you're on the double, and you're getting the both at the same time so really the best thing i can tell you guys for gaining levels um, isn't just picking one thing it's trying to maximize what you're doing and the benefits of it um, and especially if you're in a tribe um, and i'm going to say this right now just as a disclaimer because i looked up a tribe when i said that i know neanderthals is spelled incorrectly uh, we did it intentionally because we're supposed to be stupid because we're neanderthals just as a point. Uh, moving on though, but as you maximize your time, if you're in a tribe, pretty much whoever gets the highest levels first, uh, you want to feed them all the experience because if you can feed them the experience, they get to 85, then you get the ND Forge, and then you can start making all the good stuff. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope it's been educational. I hope you guys are going to gain levels even faster now, and you guys can get to alpha and be the best on the server. Um, I hope it helps. Um, if you guys have any comments or anything, let me know. If you want to see new tutorials, I know I've got a building one I'm going to do uh, tomorrow uh, for building just a basic old uh, or new fashion base uh, and that's what I'm going to do for you guys tomorrow probably um, so we'll see you guys on the next episode make sure you guys subscribe or like to the channel let me know what you guys think um, we'll see you guys on the next episode